hello guys welcome again to my channel in this video i will discuss about the effect of brushing okay so today's video is very much important especially for those fresher and those student who are going to appear for uh, interview particular to any design firm okay and if you are already working in any design firm in that case also this video may help you a lot okay so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe because in future definitely you are going to be benefited and if you are old folks in that case please watch till the end otherwise you may skip something important okay so what is bracing as for my point of view a bracing is nothing but a cost reducer okay uh, well how a brushing can be a cost reducer throughout this video i will try to discuss this okay so first we will consider uh, multiple column with your lateral load okay uh, let's say this are the column okay pin supported column and this is another this is another column okay now all this column are pin supported and you are simply applying a lateral load like this okay so what will happen simply all this column try to buckle like this okay so they try to buckle like this one this one and this one so definitely to resist this load uh, or you can say to counter this load by using these three column you need to design all these three column with a effective length of l okay agree now move to the next slide now let's say you are providing a lateral tie like this okay you are providing tie so initially this was the column and these are the support every support is pinned support like this one and your lateral load was acting like this okay some was larger at magnitude let's say this was 5 kN this was 10 kN this was 2 kN like this so what uh, right now what are you doing you are simply connected them through a tie like this okay why so that the load can be redistributed so in this case also you have to design all of this column with effective length of l by 2 is it correct not at all because the buckling characteristic remain same okay i know many of you have misconception that if you provide a tie like this one the effective length will be reduced but it is not true because the support are here and this tie is not breaking this column's length so simply the column buckle with its full length so again you have to design or again you have to provide the section size considering that the effective length during design is full length that is l okay now it's time to provide a bracing let's see when we are providing a bracing what happen okay so move to next slide here and again we will draw all these three column okay so first column second one third one let's say fourth one clear this are the support again i am repeating all the supported pinned support not fixed and this is also pinned okay and now you have already provided a lateral tie like this one okay a tie this one the main function of this tie is to redistribute this lateral load marked in red color okay clear now if i provide a bracing like this one at any uh, bay at any way it may be here also at this location also let's consider at this middle bay now can you say uh, how the buckling pattern of this column change yes now the effective length of this column become l by 2 why because this load goes from this column to this tie then from this tie to this column 
from this column to this point then it goes to this bracing okay so now the all lateral loads are carried by this bracing and you know in bracing the axial rigidity ae is much more higher compared to the flexural rigidity of this column or ei and here no load is carried by any column okay so simply by providing this bracing you are avoiding this column to carry this lateral load so your design become nominal correct so that was for today's lesson i hope you have liked this video if you like this video please uh, don't forget to share it because it may be benefited to someone else also thanks for watching guys